Hi there, and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our NinjaGenerator 8 library. Short video, about 10 minutes, with a brief explanation of the main indicator concept, the most important functions, and how you can use it uh, in a trading setup, along with uh, a download link to the indicator itself. And this time around, we're looking at the ADX VMA, which is a adaptive moving average that responds to price fluctuations. So it will follow price uh, closely during trending markets and become less sensitive during sideways action. To explain the concept uh, behind adaptive uh, moving averages, let's start off with the um, regular moving averages. They started out uh, as trend lines. And if prices were to break through the position, would be closed and uh, they would therefore also be used as trailing stops. But it makes uh, a lot of sense to use different moving averages depending on trending versus sideways markets. For example, during strong trends, so you should use a stop that closely follows price action to lock in the majority of your open profits. Whereas in a sideways scenario, a bit more room is required to avoid being stopped out prematurely. So the basic idea behind uh, an adaptive uh, moving average is therefore to reduce lag in trending scenarios, whereas longer periods uh, are applied in uh, sideways markets. A uh, well-known uh, adaptive uh, moving average is the VMA, also known as uh, Vidya as introduced by Tushar Shando. That stands for Variable Index Dynamic Average. And interestingly, it also figures prominently in uh, all texts pertaining to Indian philosophy, and uh, primarily means correct knowledge. And that's uh, fitting for this indicator here. The VMA is a moving average that uses uh, market volatility to determine the smoothing factor. So in high volatility scenarios, the VMA will use a large smoothing factor on a fast moving average. Whereas in low volatility scenarios, a small smoothing factor is applied to a slow moving average. And comparing to the uh, EMA, the exponential moving average, we see that the VMA moves closer to price during trending markets, whereas it's further removed in sideways scenarios. As for the ADX VMA, volatility is determined by the ADX that was developed by Wells Wilder. Basically, it is a moving average of the price range expansion over a specific time period. It's a non-directional indicator and simply registers the trend strength. So it doesn't matter or the price is trending up or down, uh, you get a single line with values ranging from zero to 100. And according to Wilder, strong trends are characterized by ADX uh, values above 25. And then there is no trend when the indicator plots below 20. Uh, if the indicator is uh, sloping uh, down from high values, it may indicate an impending trend change. And uh, that might be a heads up to stay away from trend following setups. Uh, on the other hand, if the ADX has been below 20 for some time and then suddenly jumps to the upside, uh, you can use it to trigger a trend following approach. So to summarize, the ADX VMA is a concept based on the VMA, but applying the ADX as a smoothing constant. So that will give you a less erratic and calmer plot, making it uh, easier to decide whether or not to pursue trend setups. Sideways uh, and non trending markets uh, simply show up as a flat line, as we see here. Our 
AMA ADX VMA comes uh, with the following default trend colors and paint bars. We have blue for a uptrend here and uh, yellow for flat and then red for a downtrend. And these are of course customizable via the indicator dialog box. And we also have a ADX VMA plus version which allows uh, separate settings, uh, i.e. look back periods for the DM, ADX, and the VMA. You may also want to apply the ADX VMA calculation as a trailing stop. You will then have a adaptive stop loss. Simply use the high low activator and uh, set the ADX VMA as input. Your long stop will then be calculated from the bar lows, whereas the short stop line is found by using the bar highs. As we see here, this is a better approach than using the ADX VMA plot itself. That would be too restrictive. In our previous spotlight, uh, we discussed the super trend and the U11 version uh, will allow you to create a adaptive stop by setting the ADX VMA or the adaptive Laguerre as input. Both the high low activator that you see here and the super trend U11 indicators are found in our trailing stops category. But uh, to wrap this up, uh, I will uh, highlight where to pick up the uh, free download for the ADX VMA. It's in the filters category. And other than the uh, ADX VMA and the uh, plus version, you will find the uh, adaptive Legger, Butterworth, Super Smoother, as well as the Coral filter, just to name a few. In total, our library has uh, 145 plus indicators available for a one-time payment of uh, 195 bucks. So that's uh, for all of them, not per indicator. And it's a one-time flat fee, not a monthly fee. So if you're not yet a member, head on over to lizardindicators.com and sign up uh, for our membership. All right, so if you want to see more of uh, our indicator spotlights, simply subscribe to my channel here. Thumbs up or leave me a comment for some feedback. That's always good to let me know that you're out there. So with that, that concludes uh, the ADX VMA spotlight. Appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. Have a great rest of the week, and I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon.